Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Piedmont Reviews. Continuing our Combiner Wars theme, we now have Combiner Wars Trailbreaker. Um, he is one of the aforementioned Skyrain combiners, of which I'll do the four component parts, but not Skylix the middle, as I don't like the toy, nor do I like the combined form of Skyrain. But we ignore that for the moment. Let's just focus on Trailbreaker. Um, he's, he retains a lot of the characteristics of his G1 self, but is way cooler. Um, whereas Trailbreaker before was always described as being old and clunky, well not necessarily old, but certainly clunky, very f inefficient with fuel and the guzzler. And let's face it, it was hardly in the original Transformers series. If you go through the comics, not so much the TV series, but certainly the comics, you probably will struggle to get on more than, I would say, six fingers, the number of appearances, certainly the speaking appearances they had. He was, it's a shame really, because he could have been quite a decent character. I digress. Um, so we take off the, the weapon kibble here and just get a, a look at the toy. He's obviously a sports utility vehicle, um, as opposed to being a kind of, I suppose he was a van really before, wasn't he? Um, a minivan almost, whereas now he's an SUV. Or, or maybe a pickup truck with this, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but it looks great, doesn't he? I quite like the aggressive styling at the front as well. Uh, the headlights as well look particularly good. Um, even the windows are painted well too. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really good little vehicle on there. I will just give a quick shout out to the standard combiner wall kibble because it's not standard combiner wall kibble. Let's just zoom out there. So you've got four little weapons here, gun, gun parts, which normally on most of them you get something like that or, or something like that. Pretty boring and dull. And in the other ones you get a hand, clearly a hand and clearly a hand in between. That's totally different. It's kind of a scoop. But if we roll it out, it is meant to be a hand. Though for some reason this combiner has only got three, two fingers and a thumb, so that's a bit odd. It's more of a shovel than a hand, isn't it? So it's it's a bit different, but ultimately it is the same standard gun, but it's got some different moulding. Just as a point out, I do quite like all the little um, almost engine-like holes here, so that looks quite well. It almost does look like it could be an engine. And in fact, with that slot there and the slot here, he will, it will fit like that to give you a little bit more of a classic appearance to Trailbreaker. Um, I don't think it will slot the other way around because the thumb gets in the way, unfortunately. So while you do get, you kind of end up with a stupid overhang bit here, which we might be able to do something with. No, we can't. Um, you do still have what looks like a big engine on there. So it, it kind of works if, if the thumb wasn't. Anyway, on to the toy itself. Now, I don't have a G1 Trailbreaker to compare it with, unfortunately. However, I do have a G1 Hoist to compare him with. Uh, we'll only compare him with the with the truck mode because Hoist has been so significantly redecoed. It's it's quite different, e even in truck mode, than it is to to Trailbreaker. But it's the closest I can get. So there we go. So imagine. Actually, the two are a little bit more similar than you might think with the, with the fact that they've removed the top part here. So, Trailbreaker himself, where this orange bit was, you had a sticky up bit uh, like that. Kind of almost level with that, and, and that went over that side. And the idea here was meant to be a kind of minivan. Um, now, funny enough, Hoist, if we just take this bit off here, if we ignore nor Hoist head, the two actually are not so dissimilar, are they? Um, this just being a more updated and perhaps a slightly more aggressive version of that. But the, the two actually work quite well together. I don't know if that was intentional, but if it was, it's kind of a bit of an homage to Hoist as well as, as Trailbreaker. Obviously Trailbreaker retains his original colours, so he's not green, so he clearly is Trailbreaker and not Hoist. But it's just quite interesting as to how similar they look. Okay, well, enough of me talking about the truck. Let's transform him. Now, Trailbreaker is actually his own mould, which I hadn't really said before. So his transformation, while it's very, very similar to the others, it is a little bit different. So you've got this part here, 
which obviously is, is the hood, that whole lot folds up. Whereas previously you have the windscreen on some of the other ones that fold up. Here the whole hood folds up, including the windscreen, is one piece. And you just fold that back down like that. As for the back of the, of the truck, this comes up like that. Same on this side, comes up like that. And then the whole leg just folds out like so and then clicks together. Same on this side. The whole lot folds out and clips together. A little bit like um, a drag strip actually of the stunt gun. So it's, it's a similar idea and when it, you clip it in you've got a clip, a little peg there, a little hole there and you obviously put them together like that. There we go. Very, very simple transformation for the legs. And then the arms. So that's actually what I'm going to say. You just want to see this part here. Flip it up like that so that he has some shoulders. Same on this side. There we go. And he is done. We will just give him his axe. What a cool weapon that axe is as well. Bearing in mind this isn't a third party toy. It's not, you know, top of the range mark, the expensive toys. That's a really cool axe as well. Um, it's not sharp at all, but it is, it just looks great. And there we are. Now, what I also quite like is he is, as you can clearly see here, he's given a, just maneuver the camera, he's given a gun, his, so his, hold a number of, of weapons it could be grease it could be cement it could be fire um the gun for that his head because it's all such a dark toy is actually in shadow so if i just do that you get an idea of the head it's very square it's very trailbreaker ish the black and the red do work it, it kind of hides a lot of the detail with him um I'm trying to position him so we can actually get some light on him but i don't think we are going to i'll just bring it as close no it's to honest, there's not a huge amount of detail it is very much perhaps hidden but what you might not pick up on the camera is there's some nice silver here uh, silver piping and there's silver on here and then you've got the red detailing too it's quite a nice toy um yeah I, I think it works quite well now you're obviously thinking if he's only got one hand how can he hold hold his second gun if you wish to use it there is a, a hole here so it will slot like so so that even though he's only got one hand he can hold two guns as well he, he works well um so i'm not going to compare him to hoist because hoist has been changed quite substantially from the original trailbreaker but i think it works well i mean you compare him we will compare him with however with combined wars smoke screen um the two obviously are very similar heights you'd expect that because they're combined wars because um, they're combining characters the same one you wouldn't after all want one leg that's longer than the other then you have a combiner called Eileen rather than a combiner called Skyrain but notice how slimmer um, Trailbreaker is uh, both in terms of the feet and the shoulders as well he does come across as being a bit more of a slimlined transformer which is a little bit at odds from him being the clunky inefficient Fuel, um, fuel guzzler, you know, cranky car, um, original van that he was in G1. But they've updated him. He's now a uh, tough as nails, aggressive SUV. Whether he's still fuel inefficient or not, we'll never know. I'm, I'm going to say he is just for the sake of, of history, but it works well, doesn't it? And the two look quite good together too. They're both not to be messed with, you know. One's got the triple triple gun, one's got a huge axe. Not to mention, his hand is a gun. There's not that many Transformers where their entire hand is just a gun. Uh, although, interestingly, the G1 Hoist and G1 Trailbreakers, both hands were guns as well. I don't recall them using an awful lot with them, but nevertheless, their hands were guns. As for a toy, it's pretty good. Um, I'd have to say I do think it's better than the original Trailbreaker. Um, it's certainly a more aggressive look to the to the character. Um, obviously, it's got good good posability. The only criticism is because it's black on black. In that you've got the black head here, the black chest, and then you've got more black behind. You can't really see very much of him. Obviously, in the camera, you really can't see very much of him. I'll try a zoom. Um, just see glowing eyes, almost Terminator-like. Um, but frankly, looking at it with my own eyes, I can't see much more than you can. 
it's not particularly obvious that there's stuff there. Maybe if one of the blacks was gloss and the other matte, that might have helped. Or maybe if one was dark grey, or just grey rather than black. Bear in mind that this is the underside of the car, so it wouldn't be obvious in car mode. But because I say, I don't know, maybe it would have detracted perhaps from the character, but black on black makes it quite difficult to see him and get some idea of the toy. But yeah, I think it works overall. Worth picking up. Um, they should still be fairly readily available. Why not? Why not take a chance to buy one? You're not going to be disappointed, I don't think. Whether whether you want them as a combiner or just as a toy, as in the robot, I think it's a pretty good modern interpretation of Trailbreaker. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a comment, like the video, click and subscribe, and why not view some more videos as well? Thank you for watching. Goodbye.